move over Ethereum because there is a new sheriff in town and her name is Solana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mint, transfer, and sell your Solana NFTs using solsea.io. We're going to take a little picture of Mr. Whittles here and send him through cyberspace so that you can understand how this process works from start to finish. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our wallet using Phantom Wallet. So I'm going to go to this app here. Okay, we're going to add to Chrome. And I'm going to do create a new wallet. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and pin it. Okay, and then we're going to come back over to And we will just register here. Okay, so now we are logged in. So we can come over to my NFTs and we don't see anything here. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, and then we're gonna go to create. And we're first gonna create a collection. I'm gonna call this refactored Okay, so we need to get some Solana into my wallet. So we're gonna do that by coming to Coinbase. And I'm just gonna convert some of my Stellar XLM into Solana directly. And then we can send it to my Phantom wallet. So we're gonna do a conversion. And what we have is Stellar XLM. And what we want is Sol. So we're gonna see if 15 is adequate. Okay, and then in theory, I should have some Solana in my account. So let's take a look. Yep, okay. So now what we want to do is just send this to my phantom address. So we're going to send all of it. And then let's see here. So that's my phantom wallet address. Okay, now let's see if those funds have been received. Okay, so now we can see we have some funds in here. So let's see if we can't create our collection. Okay, so now we can see my collection here and this looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna go to create NFT. Okay, so now we're gonna actually create our NFT. So I have this image here. I'm going to open it with an image editor
So unlike OpenSea, SoulSea does not pay for small transaction fees. You have to pay them yourself. But look at how low these transaction fees are. Like this guy right here, this one, yeah, this was the amount of the transaction fee. And if you do the math, it comes out to 50 cents. So pretty nominal. And transactions using Solana are must, transactions using Solana are much cheaper than Ethereum and Polygon. Okay, and then if we wanted to send our NFT to someone and just transfer it, not selling it, we could do that directly with the Phantom Wallet. So I could just open that up. I could view my stored NFTs. And what I could click is just send. It's going to ask for the recipient's Solana address and we can just send it. And that should be free. So I'll just add a second wallet just to demonstrate that point. So let's do create a new wallet. And let's call this new owner. <laughs> And then what I want is my wallet address. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna send it to that new owner. So, so there is a network fee, but these are very minuscule. See, these things always take time because there are validator nodes that have to process these transactions someone's computer has to actually write this entry. And that's why these things can take time and that time can vary based on kind of like network load and performance and things like that. Okay, so it looks like that's done. So I'm just going to review it. Might have to refresh the wallet here. Okay, so now we can see it's in the new wallet address. And if we go back to the first address, there's nothing there. So we just transferred that and it was virtually free. If you like this video, then you're gonna love my video showing how to create, sell, and transfer Polygon NFTs on OpenSea.io. And you can check out that video right below.